Hi guys! Okay, so I cannot believe it's already the end of July, but that means July favorite, so that's at least one good thing. Summer has gone by so quick. Anyways, I'm just going to get quickly started. Okay, so I have been buying a lot this month, which is really bad, but um, yeah. I've been liking a lot of drugstore products as well as high-end products, so I think it's like half and half. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this, um, it's from New York Color, and this one is the Metro Quartet. Um, eyeshadow, and this is in Union Square 818A, so it's like this, um, and this is what it looks like. So it has um, a champagne color right here, which is like the highlight color, and then it has um, a lid color, and then it has um, a crease color, and this one actually shattered, but it was like a, just a gold, like baked gold color, and it was beautiful, but... I shattered this, which sucked, and I need to get a new one. And this one I'm just like worked with, um, like even like in the inner corner, anywhere you want it. And I just don't know, but I just like love this so much. I take this when I go out, and um, like I had to go on a trip for the couple last couple days, and I I took this with me because it was so easy to use. I use this almost every day, so I really like this. And um, another, like, I'm gonna start with just do all the eyeshadows. So um. Another thing that I've been really liking is this Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow, and this one is in Ransom, and it's just a dark purple color. I'm actually wearing it right now in the um, inner crease, um, and it just looks like this. I shattered this too, so I had to um, fix it with alcohol. And it's just beautiful, and it's just purple, and I've been using it a lot this month, so I really like this. Another eyeshadow that I've been using is this Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow Slash Liner. And I just use this at just like Paint Only Paint Pot. I just put it all over my lid if I want like a shimmery color. It works as a highlight as well. It's just beautiful. I've been using this for actually not even just the only the month, but the past like three months. I love this. I'm going to put some reviews up of these things if you guys like message me. Okay then, another thing that I've been using is the Revlon Illuminance cream um, shadow and this one is it the palette in precious metals and I don't even know like what these colors are like one of the colors is just a mystery but it's beautiful it's like kind of like a pinkish top color like it's very it's, it's a kind of brown too but it's not exactly brown brown and the other is like gray yellow and um, brown but these are beautiful colors and I just grabbed these on the go they do crease a little bit, but as long as you put shadow over it, it's fine. So I just use this as a base or, like, just for a quick fix. Okay, then moving on to more eye products. Um, I've been using the Buxom Lash Liner in Leatherette a lot this month. I've been using this, like, the only this because it doesn't smudge and it's really, really nice and it lasts quite a while. So I love this stuff. Um, and I've also been using the MAC Liquid Eyeliner. This one is in blue black. And I don't know, it's just easy to use. It's a felt tip. It's just, I don't know. I've just been liking it. I think I'm going to go back to the L'Oreal Carbon Linear Intense. So, but yeah, this is nice. I just grabbed it because I needed a liquid liner. Okay. And then another thing that I've been using a lot is the Neutrogena Healthy Links Mascara. And actually, this stinks really bad, but it's so good. It does lengthen your um, eyelashes a lot. And I was really satisfied by this. I didn't know that it was going to be that great. Because I don't know. Like I like Neutrogena skincare items, but I don't, I've never really liked the Neutrogena um, mascaras. But um, this is actually really good. I'm definitely going to repurchase this. Okay, um, I think I should move on to like lip products now. So one thing that I've been doing this month is doing a lot of like red lips because I don't know why I'm just in like one of those phases. And so I found a lip gloss that just is perfect for um, the red lips. And it's really hard to find the red lip gloss that's really good. And this is the Urban Decay Pocket Rocket. And this one is in, um, what's his name? Timothy. He's really nice looking too. He's like, nice. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, it's just a bright ruby red. And it works great with my Gash Urban Decay lipstick, which is my other June, July favorite. So yeah, I've been really liking this. It smells really nice too. And yeah, this is the this is the lipstick that goes perfect with it, which is Gash, and it's a classic red. And if you guys have watched my videos, you know that this is definitely like one of my favorites. Another thing that I've been you know experimenting with this month is the. Uh, 
MAC Band of Roses Mineralized Blush. And this one is from the In the Groove collection. And it's very, like, difficult to, like, um, blend out. Because it's such, it's such, it's so pigmented that it's, like, crazy. But, um, it's, I don't know, this color is, like, not a color that you see very often. And this is, like, the bubblegum pink. And so I usually just take a kabuki brush and, like, blend, 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 blend. And it looks really nice. So I've been really loving this one. Um... Another one that I've been really liking is uh, Cream Sheen. This is a MAC lipstick in Cream Sheen, Call My Bluff. It's from the In The Groove collection as well. And it's just um, like a light brown, but it works as a nude for me, so I really like this one. Okay. Then moving on to like face, face products. Um, I've been liking the Maybelline Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer. It's really nice for under eye circles blemishes, anything, redness, like, it's just really great for that. And this one is in sand, which is like a medium, zero to one. And, um, another one is Lush Color Supplement, and this one is in light yellow. And it's just one of the, like, Lush doesn't really have cosmetics, but this is one that I'm loving. It's just natural, it's made out of roses, it makes my skin clearer. So actually, like, you know, you don't even have to like erase this when you sleep because it's made out of roses. It's all natural. And I use this with my tinted, with my uh, moisturizer and I make a tinted moisturizer, moisturizer out of this. And I'm going to do a review of this soon because I don't think a lot of people know this and it's just really great. So, yeah. Okay, oops, I forgot about this one. Um, this is um, a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and this one is in Petticoat. And I know that Stereo Rose is like the hit of In the Groove, but actually this one is amazing as well. It's just so beautiful and it's like raspberry gold with like shimmery flex and it's just so beautiful and I lo I've been loving this. It kind of reminds me of NARS, NARS Orgasm except with like a goldish tint to it. So I've been really loving this. And the last thing is my Dream Matte Powder by Maybelline and it's just perfect for touch-ups. I have so much oil this summer and I just like to just touch up with this and it's just so great for that. And basically like for this one, um, it's just medium 2 to 2.5 beige and it just works really well for me. So I think I'm going to definitely repurchase this. I have like three of these right now. And, and um, I keep one in my purse. I keep one at home. I keep one at random places. And it's just amazing. And one thing that I totally forgot to bring from my um, makeup storage place is my um, MAC Spice Lip Liner. And that one is just kind of like a brownish spice nude. And it's just perfect with my nude lips. I've been using that all the time. I actually use it as a lipstick even. The Spice Lip Liner... Um, I put it, like, I line my lips with it, and then I fill up my whole lips, and then I just put on a clear gloss, and I just go out the door, because it's such a beautiful color, and I've been really liking the MAC Spice. Oh my god, I forgot one more thing, sorry. Um, the Sonia Kashuk Multi-Purpose uh, Flat Top Brush, and this I've been using with my uh, foundation, and it's blending it so well. You can also use this with a cream blush, and that, that works really great with this. I've just been really, really loving this. I know that a lot of people, like want to use the MAC stippling, but this is just as good as all the MAC brushes. So this is just an amazing, amazing, amazing brush to use for your foundation or your cream blushes or anything like liquidy or creamy. So, um, yeah, I really love this. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to do a couple more face of the days and, um, they're going to be up soon. And, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.